You ready? Sure. <laughs> yes. Well. Round two. Round two. Back on the road, heading back to the city. Welcome back to another daily scuttlebutt with Ivy's family factotum. So, what had happened was. We went over <laughs> there to go. Yesterday, we went to go put a new tire on the vehicle. And in the morning, we noticed that one of my front left tires, front right, right tire, front right tire, right right tire, was a little low. Yeah. On air there, so we went filled up the air. Oh, Anson actually checked to see if it had a hole somewhere or a crack somewhere. Yeah. We well, didn't see anything. I, I just looked all in the tread area because obviously that's the area that can be fixed. Yeah. So. If, anything sidewall like what the back tire was you, you can't fix that so we went there and we told them we were like hey you know uh we're here to repair not to repair here to replace the tire but can you also check this other tire to see if it has any leaks yeah. in it or anything like that so they're like sure if it does we'll just patch it up quick and you know you'll be on your way yeah so they go check on that one and they tell us that it's bad news. It too has a thorn. It's <laughs> unrepairable. And it was on the sidewall. I on didn't know. The inside. The inside. So yeah, I, I went over there and I asked, so I was like, well, can you show me where? And the guy from the front desk, he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. He takes me over there. We see a little wet spot and he sprays a little wet spot and he's like, well, it it's not showing and then so the other mechanic comes by the one that saw the hole and he's like no it's not there he's like moves the tire and we see it on the inside right on the edge he's like yeah. we cannot plug this it's not repairable yeah so the guy in the front desk was like dang it he says i knew i should have <laughs> ordered a couple of these yeah so. Yeah, because they, they did not have that tire in stock. Uh, the one that they were replacing in the back, he had to order it. They have it come in. It only takes one day yeah. uh, for them to get their the tires come in. But yeah, yeah. Just, just like she said, he's like, dang, I knew I should have ordered you know four or five of these yeah. whenever he did, but he only ordered the one. So yeah. in going there, they are only able to replace the one. <laughs> I, then, tell, I told him, if I call you, you see my name pop up you should put a little asterisk, asterisk on it <laughs> saying this lady's gonna need more than one time <laughs> yeah. or more than something but yes and he also gave us some awesome tips on what uh what possibly could be the problem as to why the oil is leaking yeah so he printed out the picture for us yeah, just going through it. It's, it's yeah. actually something that's very, very, very common. A lot more common than so. Uh, we we assumed that it's probably going to be the rear, the rear main seal that's leaking, which involves a lot of work having to remove, you know, the transmission and, and all those things, mm -hmm. right? Because we're sitting at little, little less. We're at what ninety six thousand miles, yes. uh, al almost ninety seven thousand miles, and it. He even said that the rear main should not be leaking yet. But this other part that I guess it's the oil cooler or something to that nature. Yeah. I guess is where the, the filter is the body, like the housing of where the filter and stuff goes. So at that point, I guess the original one is, is made of plastic. And we have the printed and, paper. Yeah, it's printed <laughs> paper based on what it looks like. And then you can get uh, it's the oil filter housing right like that and you can order a new one that's all metal because I guess the original comes from the factory it's plastic and it, it breaks especially whenever you're going to get your oil changed get your oil changed and you, you, you might be taking it to places that uh, don't do jeeps as often or they don't know about the issues right of what could happen and obviously one of the places that we've been taking the jeep to get changed is 
a place in Mina. Yeah. And it's, it's like a it's, ten minute. Yeah, it's like the like yeah the five minute ten minute loop place, and those types of places are known for not doing the greatest <laughs> of of things. It's just a quick to, to jeeps, right? up and so, going, and whatever is leaking is leaking. He said that could probably also be yeah. the problem. That when they're changing everything, uh, they don't let the oil that was there completely leak out. So. Right. As soon as they put everything up to cover it, some oil, old oil stuff that's already, yeah, it's probably what's splashing and leaking out. And that, and he, and he did say that that if that part it does leak, that it shows or it makes it look like it's a rear main. Yeah. And they, I mean, he said that they do them often, like often, often, a, a lot. So. Uh, that, that's all, we're going to go ahead and look into that. Yeah, he said it's about it'll be about like a two-hour job. Yeah, as long as you have the proper equipment to, to use. Correct, and, and that's something that is is much cheaper, much faster to go ahead and do that, just for security, right? Of hey, let, let's go ahead and get this done. You don't have to worry about it in the future because it's already going to be upgraded to the new part. Yes, and then. For one, if that is the issue, it's a lot cheaper, a lot faster than trying to remove the entire transmission and do all that other stuff. So I, I think I'd rather do a, a two hour repair vice an entire weekend repair. <laughs> uh, plus, uh, obviously this is our only vehicle currently. My dad's still in Texas until he comes back. Uh, my truck is still down, still uh, awaiting on you know, some help with that. Yes. Because uh, I, I, I just don't know how to do it. I, I really do not know. So uh, until I get the, the eyes that do know how to do it, to look at it, my truck's going to be down until then. So. Yeah, we have a, an awesome YouTube yeah. mechanic out there. Shout out to him. He's a busy man. Yep. And, um, but we trust him. Yes. He knows what he's doing and he's good at it. Most definitely. And that's <laughs> Gary over at Junk the Gems. So yeah, if you are if you are not <laughs> subscribed to them, definitely go over there and check them out. It's greatly yeah. appreciated. Mm -hmm. So all right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and continue on down the road, do what we need to do. Uh, I think we all you also wanted to stop off at Tractor Supply. Uh yes. And, and and get some stuff for the for the pups. And then uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's it. it. I, I, I'm done with coming to the big city. Yeah, I, I think uh, until after this uh, Eclipse event passes, we're, we're, gonna we're, we're just going to stay hermits and not going to go do nothing. So we, we got plenty of food, got plenty of water. Uh, Y'all stay safe out there, <laughs> definitely, especially with this chaos going to happen through here. Definitely stay safe wherever you're at. Hopefully the weather holds out because if you guys uh, have been following the weather. We we watch Ryan Hall, y'all, and he's saying it might be cloudy. Who knows? We don't know yet, but hopefully it's not. Fingers crossed, because I would like to be able to watch the event. So, yeah. So. yeah. All right. You got anything else? Nope. That's everything. All right. Well, last but not least, always thank veteran at every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Later, y'all.